Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, in a recent video, possibly my last video, uh, I showed you my new Woods Brush Bull 60 Brush Hog. That's pretty smooth. Bring it up to 540. And at the end of that video, I mentioned that I had a few more things that I was going to uh, do to that thing, um, although they really weren't part of the previous video. So today I'm going to talk about one of those two things. Uh, if you look at the uh, setup currently, uh, you may remember that I have a new PTO shaft and where it connects to the gearbox, there's still a part that's pretty exposed. Now, oftentimes there is a guard that goes there and it actually looks like somebody just glued a flower pot to the gearbox. Uh, you hear all sorts of horror stories about how difficult it is to uh, get in and make adjustments and lubricate um, the shaft once that thing is on there. So even after I cut this hole out bigger, I still can't get a grease fitting on it. My biggest gripe so far with this woods mower is when you're resetting this thing and you got to stick this up inside here, you can't see it. Obviously I got the cover off. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back on. I kind of want to leave it off because it's just easier to get to this. So now I've cut a huge hole in the top of this and it's still hard to get this, the fitting onto the Zerk. And how are you supposed to set the spring? They have these covers so you can get to the bolts and the clutch. The problem is the shield is too far back. The grease fitting that's on this universal joint here is impossible to get to without pulling the cover off. You got to pull off that shield or cover that they have on it. So it's a little hard to see, but you can see um, the plate on the outside. They didn't um, make the access cover large enough. Looks like I'm going to have to take this shaft all the way off of the bush hog just to be able to get that zerk lined up where I can actually grease it on a regular basis. So I've gone a little bit different direction. Uh, I paid a little bit more money, but I think it is going to be well worth uh, the little extra premium that I've paid. So this is a gearbox guard that I purchased from Everything Attachments. They are the same company that makes my um, Wicked 66 box blade and that thing is a beast um, Everything attachments builds their stuff down in North Carolina. It's all USA made and So this I think was a great idea. This is a gearbox guard uh, that I'm going to attach to my new woods brush bull uh, What I have right here is the gearbox that came off my uh, brush bull or originally. It's the one I took off. It's Well, it's tight in here because it's in the vise this is a pretty ingenious idea. Oftentimes when you're trying to service your gearbox and your hookup where your PTO is going to go, uh, it's impossible to get in there if you have any kind of guard. If you don't have a guard, then you've got moving parts that's a potential hazard. So this alleviates that. This is a much more rugged uh, piece of metal uh, as opposed to a little floppy piece of plastic, and it's going to make things much easier to get, uh, get into and do some work. So let's see how this works. Uh, there is a linchpin here. It comes out of there and now this is going to fall over. So they come apart like so. So this piece of metal is going to mount to the gearbox and the gearbox has some holes in it already. So that's going to mount right up there like that. And once it's there, and all I need to do to access that is to pull this off and then replace it. You know, it's easier to do when it's actually mounted. Try not to scratch. So there you go. And then the linchpin is going to go back in. One of the things I want to show you is that uh, if you look at that, that linchpin doesn't want to go in that hole. There's not a lot of clearance. And that is because if you look at this part, uh, I don't know if the video shows it, but this is not level across here. These actually angle down just a little bit. Uh, and at first I thought, well, that's probably a mistake, uh, you know, because it's so hard to get this uh, pin in. And then I realized 
why that is. If you slide this down like so, of course, keep in mind this is actually supposed to be bolted on. That doesn't want to go, but if I put some weight on there, then it does. So what that does is it maintains positive pressure on this pin, and so once it's uh, in use and it's on a, a vibrating brush hog, you're not going to get rattle from this metal. So that's an ingenious idea, actually, and once I figured it out, I was really pleased with it. When you order this guard from Everything Attachments, they typically ship it as bare metal. Um, and then you can paint it whatever color you want. Um, in my case, it was a little different. Um, the one that I received was already painted red uh, because it was uh, destined for one of their own brush cutters because they manufacture their own brush hogs. Um, but to get it to me sooner because I had a bit of a need, uh, they gave me the option. They said, we can either send you one of these that's pre-painted or we can, uh, if you can wait a few days, we're going to be cutting and bending some more, you know, the following week and we could send it. Uh, for my mind, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to paint it one way or the other. An extra coat of paint certainly is not going to hurt anything. So they sent me the painted red one and then I just resprayed it black. Uh, the warning label that's on the top, they just sent loose in the box and then I applied that once it was painted. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I have to take the PTO shaft off or not. All right, as we watch me install this, I'll just give you a few more details about the product. It is laser cut during manufacture for precision. It's designed to install without having to remove your PTO shaft, and you can see that is how I'm doing it here. It installs with four bolts, which are not included, and really that's all you got to do. Four bolts and you're done. Once it's on, you can easily access your PTO shaft for greasing or removal or any other kind of maintenance you need to do. The hood slides off simply by removing the lynch pin. It's designed to fit multiple brands, although if it is not an EA brand or another brand with a standard hole pattern, you might need to modify it a little bit. I did not. The mounting plate has elongated holes for mounting and fits hole centers ranging from 2 and 3 8 inches to 3 and 3 8 inches. As I mentioned before, these are shipped unpainted. And they are shipped for free via UPS ground shipping to your home anywhere within 1,000 miles of Conover, North Carolina. And as mentioned before, these are proudly made here in the USA. Perfect. Okay, let's check this for clearance. So there you have it guys. Uh, I'm really happy with it uh, and I think it's a much better option than uh, many of the things that are out there. I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, it was $89 and uh, yeah, I think it's well worth it. Uh, when I purchased mine, EA had them in stock. Uh, so some of the big stuff I know, they, you know they've got some pretty long lead times. This was not the case for that. They were shipping uh, pretty soon after I placed the order. So thumbs up for that. Obviously, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to share this with you. And uh, I got one more thing I'm going to add to this thing. Something might fit up underneath that guard. Appreciate you being here. I hope we see you next time.